Hello, welcome to Baltic World. My name is Chris Byrne, and in this episode, we are going to discuss the god Perkunas through the story of Eurate and Castitas. Eurate was the goddess of the sea, ruling her underwater kingdom from a palace made of precious amber. She was known for her exceptional beauty and wisdom. Her duty was to protect the sea and all of its creatures, maintaining the balance of nature. One day, Eurate noticed a young fisherman, Castitas, who was catching a large number of fish in the Baltic Sea. Concerned that his actions were upsetting the natural balance, Eurate decided to punish Castitas. She sent a storm to destroy his boat and drag him down to her palace. However, upon meeting Castitas, Eurate was struck by his beauty and courage. Instead of punishing him, she fell in love with him, and Castitas reciprocated her feelings. They began a passionate affair, their love so strong it could be felt in every corner of the underwater kingdom. News of Eurate and Castitas' forbidden love reached Perkunas, the powerful god of thunder and sky. He was enraged, as the union between a goddess and a mortal was strictly forbidden. In his fury, Perkunas sent a bolt of lightning to destroy Eurate's amber palace and chain her to the ruins. Castitas was killed by Perkunas' wrath, while Eurate was left to mourn her lover for all eternity. It is said that the tears she shed for Castitas turned into small pieces of amber, which can still be found along the shores of the Baltic Sea today, although some believe the amber found is the remnants of the shattered palace itself. The story of Eurate and Castitas is a timeless tale of love and loss, reminding us of the power of love and the consequences that can come from defying the natural order. It also highlights the beauty of the Baltic Sea and its rich deposits of amber which remain a significant part of Lithuanian culture and folklore. Perkunas is a prominent deity in Lithuanian mythology, revered as the god of thunder, lightning, rain and other natural forces. He plays a crucial role in the pantheon of Baltic gods and is considered one of the most powerful and important deities in the Lithuanian belief system. Perkunas is often depicted as a bearded man wielding an axe or double-headed hammer representing thunderbolts. His connection with thunder and lightning is deeply rooted in the natural phenomena that Lithuanians observed in their environment. In Baltic mythology, Perkunas is responsible for maintaining the balance between the forces of good and evil, ensuring harmony and order in the world. Perkunas is associated with the sacred oak tree, which is believed to be his dwelling place or a conduit through which he communicates with the mortal world. In some legends, Perkunas rides a chariot pulled by fiery horses across the sky creating thunder with the clashing of his weapons or the wheels of his chariot. Traditional songs and folklore link Perkunas with the calendar system, Thursday which is the day of thunder and storms, and marriage, and because he is associated with marriage, some Lithuanians call upon him to avenge unfaithful spouses. This is evident in the story of Menulus. Perkunas strikes the moon when he is being unfaithful to his wife Saule. According to these legends, Menulus regenerates through the phases of the moon, and when caught, Perkunas strikes again. In addition to his role as the god of thunder, Perkunas is also associated with fire, especially in its purifying and protective aspects. He is sometimes called upon to protect the people in their home from evil spirits and misfortune. Perkunas' main antagonist in Lithuanian mythology is Velnas, the god of the underworld, who represents chaos, mischief, and disorder. The two deities often clash, with Perkunas representing the forces of order and righteousness, while Velnas embodies chaos and destruction. Perkunas is also known to interact with other gods and goddesses in the Lithuanian pantheon, such as Lyma, the goddess of fate, and Dievas, the supreme god. These interactions reflect the intricate relationships and hierarchies within the pantheon and highlight Perkunas's vital role in the divine order. In conclusion, Perkunas is a central figure in Lithuanian mythology, embodying the powerful forces of nature and serving as a guardian of order and balance. I hope you enjoyed our video on Perkunas. If you have any other stories related to this God of Thunder, please leave them down below. Otherwise, stay with us next time as we cover Lima, the Goddess of Fate.